All right, man. It was amazing having you out here. Yeah. You be safe on the way home, okay? Make sure you take a nap on the oh, way. Good. It's like a 20 okay. hour drive for him. Yeah, he likes to drive straight through. That was cool to meet and talk to J-Crow for a little bit. We're on uh, very similar paths right now. So, wish you the best of luck, brother. Just wanna give a big shout out to the Ranger I talked to last night. Showed up at the little campsite we made and uh, it's about to make us leave and found it in his heart to let us stay. I think Pop's being 73, sleeping in the truck already really helped out. So, I like these Ultra Olympus shoes, right? Like they're comfortable, they work for me. I've only tried like three different pairs of hiking shoes in my life, but I'm scared to spend $100, $150 plus on a pair of shoes and then decide I don't like them later or they hurt my feet. You know, I found something that works for me, so I wanna stick with it. But, I really think Ultra could do a better job of making their shoes more durable. I haven't looked at their quarterly earnings statements, but something tells me they're doing good with the profits. Good enough to afford a few extra stitches. So I called the outfitter in Front Royal. They have a couple pairs in my size in orange. Can't bring myself to spend that much money on a pair of orange shoes. When I hit Front Royal, looking for somewhere to purchase a little 15 inch piece of duct tape. <laughs>
I'm not sure what the weight is with this UV light compared to like a regular water filter. But I am sure that it's really nice to just sit and chill instead of trying to squeeze water when you stop. More like a break than a chore. And these UV lights are supposed to kill a lot of stuff that the filters don't catch. The uh, SteriPen UL, it has a rechargeable battery, so you don't even have to worry about batteries. Something to think about. The bugs are out today for sure. I'm glad I got this hat in the bug net already. A lot funner to burn it than it is to filter it. So I always carry the UV light and uh, little potable water pills just in case my UV light isn't charged or my battery bank fails. But a lot of times I end up using the pills just because I'm in a rush and I don't want to sit there for the 90 seconds. Honestly, once you use the pills for a few days, the taste, you can't even hardly taste it. I definitely don't use the other bottle for the taste. This is extra weight. If you, if you want to come out here and yellow blaze and blue blaze, do like 10 miles a day, slack pack, like that's cool. I don't look down on that at all. I don't have a problem with it. If that's what gets you out here to enjoy this beauty, then by all means. about eight, eight and a half miles in a day. Already one o'clock. A little bit of a late start seeing pops off, but I'm just moving slower. Probably got five days of food and 10 days of snacks right now. Honestly, really manageable. With all the other cuts I've made, with like two days of food, this pack is absurdly light. I love it. Five, six solid days, totally manageable. to be under there when it finally falls. Wasn't there supposed to be something special about this eclipse? Like, I don't know. It happened, uh, I know I was serving tables at Paran's probably 10 years ago now. Went out in the parking lot one day with all the customers and staff to see it over there. And it was one that like, you're not supposed to look at, but there was cloud cover and you could see the outline. It was really pretty. <clears throat> Still probably not supposed to look at it, but eyes are working fine today so 
Yeah, I'm not an expert, but I'm sure it's just like a welding arc. As long as you don't stare for like, you know, a second plus, you'll be good just glancing real quick and looking away. But don't take don't take my advice there. I don't want to be responsible for anybody going blind today. I think I'll go check it out. Totally worth the walk. That's the overlook I just walked down to. How about that? Glad I walked down there now. Got to see it from two perspectives. And got to see that cool little tree on the way up. Hmm. Court was coming fast. Scared the crap out of me. Still falling short on the nicotine and the THC, guys. Not happy about it. Talked to my pops a lot about it. I tried to quit THC and nicotine probably 
hundreds of times in my life. I ain't about to give up. I can say that nicotine and THC consumption is way lower right now than it was, you know, before I started this hike. It's definitely progress, but I'm not not happy with it. Butterflies are like speed racers. I don't know if the camera's even picking them up. Oh, there you go. Chill out, bro. So oh, pretty. Temperatures are climbing. Getting toasty. Thank you, Mr. Rock. Used to be there. He's hiking through. You see, though, you look pretty. Yeah, no problem. He's going this way. And then walk right by. So pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, dude. See you later. That's what I'm talking about. About 21 miles in. Ugh. Gotta sell through like four more. I think, uh, you know, make it at least there. Maybe a little bit further. We don't see. About 3.7 to the shelter. Guess I'm gonna check it out. With any luck, I'll have some room in there to, uh, have some room in there to pitch the bug baby. Give it a try in the shelter.
beautiful trail. Feels like I'm on the creeper trail. Yeah, that bad boy. Got a killer sunset going on over there. If we get to the outlook and get a look at it, that'd be nice. Still got about 0.9 to the shelter. Guess there's a slight chance. Shelter offers a view. We shall see. Going downhill, so it's very possible we could get on the side over there and get a good line of sight on it. This is the old Appalachian Trail I'm used to. Bye bye Shenandoah terrain. Look at this nice little shelter right on trail. How about that? Go see if we got some neighbors. Oh boy. How you doing? Is it just you? Yep. Oh, you're good. Oh. How you doing? Can't complain. Right, so this is the first time I got the baby set up in a shelter. Not really any bugs out tonight. I just wanted to give it a uh, test run before we hit some serious bugs. So I don't think the feet's really necessary to tie out. There's two spots up there. I'll keep it off my head. Got some chili ramen with the loaded mashed potatoes. Some sweet and spicy nuts to throw in there. I swear this chili ramen with the mashed potatoes is just like curry. I can't tell the difference glasses on that's why I look weird what a sunset waiting on the rom bomb to uh cool off a little bit and <clears throat> just realized front royal is only like three miles away so I could have made it there tonight but I guess I'll make a day out of it tomorrow and then hike out get some duct tape for my shoe maybe a hot meal <clears throat> Yeah, not a bad day. I think it's about 25 miles. I'll we'll see. Yep, folks, 25 on the dot. Not a bad day. <laughs>